Folks, like oh, I said, Kevin we're still Bailey. working out. Another, some another great kill. Yeah, that's an MVP for that game. Jesus, sure, so absolutely. He's had at least four Kevin or five Bailey, kills. number four for Grand Valley, has been an absolute champion at this point. Rallying his team. 125 left in this first half. We'll see if UWP can maybe claim a point or if Grand Valley will hold them off. For the timeout here. As you can see, we have 116 left in this first half. As you um, as for that little break. Yeah, that what we, what we missed during the break, John. That's so so what we missed was UWP just came out firing for about two minutes. Not only came out firing, but had like two or three extremely clutch catches from a variety of different players. Uh, unfortunately, what we saw is actually UWP, I want to say, was up like nine players to four. They threw a catch, and that was um Gardner, number 34, caught it uh, for Grand Valley. I forget who threw it. Uh, brought it back to like eight versus five, and it's been those same five players for Grand Valley for the last two and a half minutes, and they they have just been whittling down UWP. I think it's a 4-5, five, 5-5 five, five advantage right now, so both teams on that 10-second shot clock. Yeah. A 10-second shot clock really hurts because you don't realize how much you appreciate those extra five yeah. seconds oh, until you don't have them. It's unbelievable. Yeah, regardless of what happens at this point, UWP, by far the best point I've seen them play ever. Uh, well, this, ever. this entire season, since we haven't yeah, seen anything we haven't from, seen any from, from them. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise. And I'm going to be interested to see how UWP uh, decides to finish out this point. You know, are they comfortable going into half down 2 nothing? Will they try to slow the pace down, or are they going to try to go for that point and make it 2-1? I think you uh, got to go for the point. You guess your best still. chance. And there's a great Kevin catch Bailey, there by Kevin four. Bailey. Takes out number four. Yeah. Oh, I think that he nicked got, him right there. So a catch and kill number within about five seconds for Kevin seconds. Bailey. Mark Ledicki goes out, and so does did uh, Drew Van Aston. That's a huge loss for them. Oh, oh the ball's over. Shot clock violation. That is by absolutely UWP, killer. Yeah, we got 55 yeah. seconds left Very right now. Very poor play by UWP. Let's ball some over. We're looking in the box right now. Yeah. Can they uh, survive the 50 seconds, 55 seconds they need to uh, go into half only down by two? And we are joined by a stranger in the booth. Please identify yourself for uh, our I'm listeners. Peter. I'm Peter Bro uh, from Central Michigan. Uh, we're at halftime at the LSU. What's the uh, score? What's there. going on over there? It's currently tied one. Tied at one. Woo. All right, and 30. 30 goes out here. One player left in for one UWP. For this seconds. is actually really big if they wanted. Now you turtle up. Turtle, turtle, Just turtle. try to survive. Uh, he doesn't have another ball. Oh, he's in on the arm right there. Yeah, just so this half will end with about 36 seconds left. Grand Valley clutch snatches a uh, third point yeah. from what looked like a possible defeat. And makes it 3-0 going into halftime. No more technical difficulties, folks. Hopefully. We will be back, hopefully, knock on wood, we will be back for the second half of Grand Valley versus UWP here in Bowling Green, Kentucky.